guys. <coughs> I've been asked uh, to do a tikka masala. So we're taking 300 grams of chicken thigh meat. I've got some tikka, tikka spice mix. We take two tablespoons. Just going to play about with that and get it soaked into the into the thighs like so. Just massage that in. That's that. Then I'm going to take some natural yogurt. Spoon it into this bowl. About half of that I'll put, that's about it. <coughs> then here I've already mixed um, a teaspoon of curry powder, half a teaspoon of cane and pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic, half a teaspoon of ginger, and some black pepper. Put it in there with the yogurt. Best I can. And you can. I prefer to stick this in the fridge overnight, or you can just stick it in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm going to take the chicken thigh meat. <coughs> Make sure you wash your hands, guys, you know, before you start this. You just want to massage into them thighs. Okay, guys, we're back. <coughs> Turn up the heat. And in the pan, two tablespoons of um, vegetable oil, and let's say half a teaspoon of butter. So I'm just going to get that pan hot. Half a teaspoon of cumin in there. Some chopped onion. We want to <coughs> we want to cut that off in a few minutes. Uh, prepared some four spices. We're going to add shortly. Uh, it's cayenne pepper, turmeric, uh, garlic. And ginger. Okay. Just half a tablespoon of each, that's all I've gone for on this. So I'm gonna pop them in there. Like so. I'll turn the heat down just a tad. Next up, we're um, going to have some, a tin of chopped tomatoes, yeah? I'm going to put that in. Turn the heat down. At this point, I'm 
last one I put in. Pinch of salt. What I've done here, I've chopped up some small uh, baby tomatoes. I like it. I like the sauce to be a bit on the lumpy side. I don't want it just all sauce, you know. So just a few. Don't forget, I'm doing this. It's probably enough for two here, but uh, a whole a sweet pepper. Go for a, a yellowy orange one this time. Opposed to the green one I used last time, and I've got a bit of onion there, just to, because I like I like a little bit of onion rather than mush. I want a, I want a bit of a few big pieces, you know. And I've gone for a red hot chili. Okay, I'm throwing a red hot chili pepper in there as well. I want it a bit spicy. You know? Okay, this is simmering away. It's been simmering for a good 10, 12 minutes. Got some coriander. I just want to, I just want to throw a bit of coriander in there. Okay. While well, that's cooking, and don't forget, while you're stirring this and playing about with this, turn your chicken over in the oven. Uh, you don't want it to burn all on one side. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there again for another five or ten minutes. Alright, at this point we're going to add some garam masala. I'm going to want a nice tablespoon in there. I'm going to stir that in. See how the colour's changed. Okay, what we also need to add at this point is I'm going to use half of this double cream, heavy cream. Because I want a nice creamy sauce, yeah. see it change again. Beautiful. I'm just gonna let that cook. Just let it simmer down the Sauce is almost done. Pretty much done. I'll let them cook for another five or ten minutes. Okay, that's been cooking for another five or six minutes. And I'm just getting a just a dry pan. Getting a bit of heat on there. I've got these ready-made chapatis. And I'm just gonna Heat up in here. You can see them in there. It's just some ready made chipatis there. I'm just going to get them up. Probably have two or three of them. You can have this with this. There's plenty here, enough for two. If you want to have it with rice and chipatis, or you want to have it with yam bread. I'm just going to get these breads up and it's pretty much, pretty much a done deal. I'm just going to throw 
throw a few coriander leaves on there. And that's it. Job done. Once the breads are up, good to go. Let me just try this. <coughs> break the bread and have a taste. Mm. Mm. That's beautiful. Beautiful.